Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. Okay, so we are having k to the power of 4 equal to k minus 2 to the power of 4. The first step is take everything to the left. k to the power of 4 minus k minus 2, but you must put this in bracket to the power of 4 being equal to 0. Okay, please hold on. I want you to understand this to the fullest. Then we have k to the power of 2 my m um, to the power of 2. I'm doing this because I want to take you know the difference of two squares of this. Okay, and then minus here I have k minus 2 as well to the power of 2. I'm breaking the 4 there, so I will still break it again and write 2 on the outside. And this is equal to 0. Now, look at this together. If you have a squared minus b squared, we take difference of 2 squares as we have a plus b into a minus b, right? Now, using the same standard, our a is now k squared and our b is equal to k minus 2 squared now my duty is to put this you know this value of a and b into this right so a plus b becomes k squared plus open bracket and we shall have k minus 2 squared so this is what i have in the first bracket then in the second it will be k this is k squared minus open bracket k minus 2 then we square this then close this and let this be equal to that zero over there now you might be tempted to open this bracket with the addition here with this plus right but it's not allowed as you have to deal with the bracket first so to deal with these brackets um okay i'm going to do this separately so that you will see it picking um k k minus 2 squared right this is the same thing as k minus 2 into k minus 2 i believe you agree so k times k will give k squared then k times minus 2 that is minus 2k then minus 2 times k, that will be another minus 2k. Then minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. So the whole of this, okay, I can still go ahead. So I have k squared minus 4k plus 4, right? Okay, so the whole of this is what we have in, in this... um. Okay, in the bracket here, right? So this means that in this first bracket, we are going to be having k squared plus, you can open the bracket if you have to. So we have k squared minus 4k plus 4. This is what I have in the first bracket. Then in the second bracket, I mean for this, it will be k squared minus then open this bracket and write the whole of this. So we have k squared minus 2k. Okay, k squared. Oh, we are writing this right. k squared minus 4k. So here I write 4k, then plus 4. Close this and equate it to 0. Now, let's continue. We have k squared plus k squared minus 4k plus 4 in this then in the second it will be k squared this negative will open everything over there so we have k squared minus k squared then this will affect this it turns to plus 4k 
this turns to minus 4 and then equate it to 0. This plus this will give me 2k squared minus 4k plus what? Plus 4. Close this. Then here, k squared minus k squared will be gone. So we have 4k minus 4 to be equal to 0. And from here, what are we expected to do? Apply zero product rule. I'm going to pick this first because this is a linear expression. So 4k minus 4 is equal to 0, meaning that um, 4k is equal to 4, and meaning that our k is 4 over 4, and then k is equal to what? 1. And we can call this the first value of k, or we call it our k1. Now, to get the other values of k, we work with this quadratic expression here, which is 2k squared minus 4k plus 4. And if we equate this to 0, then it becomes a quadratic equation. We can even divide this by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, and divide by 2. This will go as we have k squared minus. Here now we're going to have 2k, then plus 2 equal to 0. This is what we, we are having. And we can solve this by using the formula method. Okay, so I want to solve it over here. And using the formula, k is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. This is over 2a. Our a is um, 1, coefficient of k. Our b is minus 2, coefficient of k squared. This is coefficient of k squared and coefficient of k. And c is a constant, which is 2. Now, our k will be equal to minus 2 now. will come over here, so it will cancel the negative, and it turns to plus 2, plus or minus. Then we have minus 2 in bracket squared, minus 4 times 1, because a is 1, times c, which is 2. So, all of this will be over 2 times 1. K now will be equal to 2 plus or minus, then square root of, um, square of minus 2 is 4, minus 4 times 1 times 2 will give 8, right? And this will be all over 2. So K is equal to 2 plus or minus, we have square root of negative 4. And then this will be over 2. And by the way, this means that k is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of negative 4 will give us 4i because of the negative there. And this i is imaginary. So we divide this by 2. And from here again, 2 can go here one time. So we have 1 over there. 2 will go here and we have 2 times, meaning that k is now 1 plus or minus 2i. Okay, so this is the value of k that we are having. So let me bring the value to this place. This is our k1 already, so our k2 is going to come here, and it will be 1 plus 2i, and our k3 is equal to 1 minus 2i. Okay, remember, this is a 2-in-1 solution. And then at this point, we have solved it completely. Thank you for watching.